since I've posted some videos of myself playing clarinet, I got some questions about the Gershwin lick. So I want to show you the easiest way to basically get through that smear or the gliss or whatever you want to call it. Technically, it's a smear. But I'm going to show you this, and this is the easiest way to do it, and you don't even have to move your embouchure at all. In fact, when you're starting out with this, you want to nail it. Don't do anything with your embouchure. Just leave it. Only thing you're going to do is just push air through the horn. So let me show you this fingering, which is the fork F sharp. So you got your one, two, three, four with the fork. And of course, you have your octave key pressed or your register key pressed here. When you get to this note, as soon as you hit this note, you want to lift this two finger. And then from there, because that note has so much pressure and it's really stable, I'm just going to push air real hard through it. And then all I'm going to do is just slide my fingers off this way. Just smear my fingers off. All right, so on a side note, <laughs> when you smear, when you start to pull your fingers off, Notice that the fork fingering is just staying right where it is. All we're doing is just lifting the one, three, and the four finger like this. I'm still keeping this one pressed. And then as I start to get further off of the keys, then I lift this fork fingering here. So you do that and you take all the drama off of figuring out what to do here. Now, as far as how low you can start that smear, you're basically just gonna do the same type of concept. And there's it's every other person on the internet that's showing you how to do this is essentially doing what I told you, but from a more difficult place. And then I'm gonna control that gliss, that smear, by the rate at which I pull my fingers off. I'll play it slowly. I'm not doing anything with my embouchure here. And this is generally where everything starts to go wrong. You hear people go. Once you do that, you once you hit one of these weird notes, my advice to you, if you actually do that on a gig, it's just default. Like, just call it, man. Don't, don't keep trying to do it. All right, so at any rate, let me do that again for you. <laughs> 